15 Common Council to order. Will the clerk please read the quote for the day. Thank you, Mayor. For time and the world do not stand still. Change is the law of life, and those who look only to the past or the present are certain to miss the future. Thank you very much. Next, will the clerk please call the roll for the meeting? I will. Thank you, Don. I pushed it. <laughs> 13 present. Alderman Donahue and Alderman Vanderweel are excused. Alderman Matichek is unexcused. We have a couple of guests with us today from the LTC civics class, and I'd like to ask them to step forward and lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance. That's Charlene Ruffinbrand, No Vang, Peter Vang, and Saul Irby. Please step up here. to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you very much for your help with that. And they're here with their instructor, Sharon Abel, who is in the back of the room. Next, we'll move on to the approval of the minutes from our last meeting. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to approve. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion on the minutes? Seeing none, will you please call the roll? 13 ayes. Motion passes. Next is the public forum. Uh, none this evening. Thank you. Then we'll move on to mayor's announcements. Um, just want to remind everybody that Tuesday, April 1st is election day. Our next council meeting will be on April 2nd, and that's a Wednesday. And then our last meeting of the current council year will be on April 14th. That'll be on Monday at 6 p.m. And I want to wish all everybody on the council and all the residents a happy St. Patrick's Day today. Next, we'll go on to hearings. Um, item 2.1 is to declare the city's intent to exercise its police power and levy special assessments for the calendar year of 2013 against all benefited property in the parking <coughs> districts 1, 2, 4, and 5 for the assessment of the cost and operation and maintenance thereof. Is there anyone wishing to be heard? Is there anyone wishing to be heard? Is there anyone wishing to be heard? Alderman Hammond? Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to close the hearings. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Will the clerk call the roll on closing the hearings? 13 ayes. Motion passes. Next, we'll move on to consent agenda. That's items 3.1 through 3.12. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to accept and file all our OAs, accept and adopt all our reports of committees, and put all resolutions upon their passage. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Consent agenda is before us. Is there any discussion? Seeing none, will the clerk call the roll on the consent agenda? 13 ayes. Motion passes. Next, we'll, re we'll move on to reports of officers. That'll include items 4.1 through 4.16. Those will all be referred to various committees. Under resolutions, 5.1 is a resolution by Alderman Heidemann authorizing advertising for bids for the sanitary sewer relay of North 6th Street from Euclid Avenue to approximately 160 feet to the south. Alderman Heidemann. Thank you, Mayor. Uh, I'm going to move to suspend the rules. Second. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. We please call the roll, or should we just do a voice? We can do a voice. We'll do a voice vote. All those in favor of suspension, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Aye. Under suspension, go ahead. Okay. I put the resolution upon uh, for passage. Second. Second. It's been moved and seconded to put the resolution on its passage. Is there any discussion on the resolution? See none, will the clerk please call the roll? 
13 ayes. Motion passes. Items 5.2 through 5.5 will be referred to various committees. And then under reports of committees, item 6.1 is an RC by law and licensing recommending denying a taxi cab driver's license number 0298 based upon his failure to accurately review all the convictions on his application and his record of violations related to the licensed activity. Alderman Lassard. Thank you. I move to accept and adopt. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion? Um, we had, they had a meeting and is Roy E. Grushauer here? He's not here. Um, it was voted three to zero to deny the license and on the recommendation of the police department was also to deny the license. Thank you for that discussion. Anyone else? See no other discussion where the clerk call the roll on passage. 13 ayes. Under ordinances 7.1 will lie over. Item 7.2 through 7.4 will be referred to various committees. Next we'll move on to other matters, city attorney. Thank you, Your Honor. 8.1 is a communication from Attorney Hahn regarding the City Council's decision to terminate the lease agreement with Sheboygan Softball Association relating to the Wildwood Softball Complex. That'll be referred to the Public Works Committee. 8.2 is an RO by the City Clerk submitting the Harbor Center Business Improvement District financial statements dated December 13, 2013, together with the Independent Auditor's Report. That'll be referred to the Finance Committee. 8.3 is an RO by the City Clerk submitting various license applications for the period ending June 30, 2014 and June 30, 2015. That will be referred to the Law and Licensing Committee. 8.4 is an RO by the City Clerk submitting a summons and complaint in the matter of BMO Harris Bank versus LTD Rentals and Restoration LLC et al. That will be referred to the Finance Committee. Eight point five is a resolution authorizing the purchase of ten twenty two Erie Avenue for the purposes of the raising the property for new private investment in the neighborhood as part of the neighborhood revitalization strategy area activities. That'll be referred to the City Planning Commission. Next we have scheduled a, a, a closed session. Alderman Hammond. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to close convening the closed section session under exemption contained in section 19851E Wisconsin statutes for the purpose of deliberating a proposed development project and Erie Avenue development where competitive or bargaining reasons require a closed session. Second. It's moved and seconded to go in closed session. Will the clerk please call the roll for closed session? Thirteen ayes. Motion passes. We'll take a five minute recess and convene in closed session. Session, then. Um, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I move to accept the uh, offer to purchase the Dietrich property for a price of five hundred thousand plus, con including the contingencies. Second. Thank you for that motion and support. Is there any discussion? Yes, Alderman Hammond. Thank you. Should hit my button. I, I move to open the floor to Dave Gas. Second. If there's no objection, Dave, would you please come forward? Dave Gas is the president of our uh, business. Well, good evening, everyone. Uh, a joyous day. Um, Henry Ford stated that coming together is a beginning, um, keeping together is progress, and working together is success. And we started that process of coming together in the form of the Harbor Center Business Improvement District Master Plan, which is coming before the bid tomorrow uh, morning for approval, and then subsequently to the Common Council uh, for approval. Um, the process of staying together and working together uh, now will begin. And um, it's very satisfying to know that that process has taken a historic start tonight with this motion and approval uh, to purchase the uh, uh, Dietrich property, better known as the Boston Store property. Um, previously, we had mentioned that we had conversations with the owner of the Boston Store property, Mr. Sheldon Dietrich. It's actually a, a limited partnership. As we progressed in those conversations, um, Mr. Detrick gave the indication that he would appreciate what we're trying to accomplish in Sheboygan with our 
bid master plan and was also understanding the way the market was and was willing to entertain um, a sale of the property at a price that, he, that, was, that we felt was appropriate given the circumstances. And I'm happy, so happy to find that we have now been able to accomplish that and the Common Council has been able to uh, uh, come to tonight where they can vote on that motion. This result would not exist without a private public cooperation. And in that regard, a number of the city officials were very active in helping um, us um, personnel from the bid and the city reach this point. And I'd like to highlight the efforts of uh, Council President Don Hammond, Mayor Mike Vandersteen, City Administrator Jim Amodio, and Director of City Development Chad Peleshek for uh, working together um, to some extent uh, behind the scenes um, to make this become a realism. Um, when it became clear that we actually could accomplish this sale, that the seller was actually willing to sell at a price which we um, um, were hoping in our wildest dreams could be the case and has now come to be the case, um, we um, uh, knew that we had a partner in the city to make that happen. As we, look f as we move forward, we know that this purchase is not final and legally it's not final, there's some things to work out but we're very confident that it's gonna be final, that we'll get through those, and that we have the first step of a real renaissance that's gonna happen in the uh, Harbor Center Business Improvement District. It's an exciting moment. I look so much, I look so forward to working with you. Um, our um, executive director of our bid, our bid manager, Dave Hoffman, is here. He's ecstatic as well. Um, we're very happy to go into our meeting tomorrow morning and be able to report where we are at, um, a, a, a position we never thought we'd be in this quickly, this soon, um, but um, as I said earlier, um, I think this is a good omen for where we are gonna take Sheboygan. I wanna stress that we do. Dave, thanks for all your work. We really appreciate it. Any other discussion? Alderman Hammond. Uh, thank you, Mr. Mayor. I, I would like to echo um, Mr. Gass's comments. Um, very few times does an opportunity to transform a community come about and we now have that opportunity right in the heart of our own downtown. This site encompasses five plus acres um, and with the bid and the newly created uh, master plan um, you, as our blueprint for future success, I'm very confident that this is gonna go very well for the city. Um, I just wanna mention, um, as Dave did, that this opportunity came about very, very quickly and right now there are no plans for development but again, um, with this proposed master plan, I think um, and am very confident um, that the future of this site is going to be very successful. I would actually, um, um, excuse me, uh, Dave was fairly humble up here. Um, excuse me. Yeah, I'd like to thank Dave and Dave Soxy, um, Dave Gass and Dave Soxy, of course, also city staff um, for everything that they did and their help. Um, with this project. Um, Dave Gass uh, was the first one to reach out um, to Mr. Dietrich um, and kept the lines of communication open. So thank you, Dave. Thank you. Thank you for those comments. Any other discussion? <coughs> Seeing none, all those in favor of the motion, please signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Alderman Hammond. Motion to adjourn. Second. We have a motion to adjourn. All those in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion passes. Thank you very much.